If you're looking for info on DJ equipment, PA equipment, some of the very latest high-tech gear, as well as some great tried and tested budget equipment. Also, there's some info on cables, the odd software advice, headphones, DJ controllers, projectors and other visuals, studio monitors, the odd turntable, microphones, lighting. Please do like and subscribe and look at the uploads on my channel as there just might be something of interest just for you. RCF, you, you, you are gonna make me skint. Happy New Year, everybody. New Year, New Gear Day. Last year was an unbelievable year for events. The most events I've ever had booked and the most events I've ever done in one year, which is why I had to take a break. I haven't done any big events this year. None the small ones that I usually do my bread and butter, but when the bigger ones come, no doubt, I'll have to take those on board. But for now, it's the new gear time, RCF 915AX. The ground is soaking wet, which is why it's on a box. And that's an empty box and it hasn't crushed it. Maybe it's just evenly spread its weight on that box or it's not that heavy. I can't remember how much it weighs, but I've had this speaker about two weeks, but I've not had a chance to get any uploads on. So I thought I have to get this out there. I'm loving this. It does everything. Not interested in 12s, not interested in 10s, anything that I'm going to bring to an event. If it's two speakers, they have to be 15s because I've got the low end if I need it. All of the specs on this speaker you can find online. RCF do a much better job than I do on explaining all of that. But looking at the speaker from the outside, you can see it's just like the 945A handle on the back. I wish the speaker had the handle at the top just like the HTM 45A. With this one, you pick it up, as you know, each time it scratches at the front, and each time you set it down, the first point of contact is the front, not the feet. But other than that, it's a nice weight. Well, I say it's a nice weight. Correction, it's not. Because when you have a speaker and the handle is directly at the back, when you pick it up, it swings. So you're carrying it at an angle and when it's at an angle, it's actually taller than it would be if you could pick it up directly with a handle that is directly on the top, making this speaker also feel a lot heavier than it is, which is a bit of a bad move. It's a lot easier carrying a speaker when it's upright rather than it's swinging at an angle. So you can see it seems like it's exactly the same body as the 945A exactly the same front baffle and waveguide even as the HDM 45A but what I love about this speaker is that screen forget everything else that screen is unbelievable the clarity the image the resolution my camera doesn't do it any justice because I don't use the best camera for these uploads I think the information that is given is much more important than the image quality of an upload the pages upon pages upon pages that you have at your fingertips is one of the reasons to buy this. The screen is lovely. What you can do in the menus is unbelievable. The amount of control that you have on board. This is what I like about speakers. I don't like apps, I'm not into apps. Apps are free. This took a lot of time and money and all of the actions are so precise with no lag. I like to have so much control and in-depth control on the unit. And this is what the 915AX has. What I love about it is that it's Bluetooth. I don't DJ through Bluetooth. I always use cables. I never really do an event through Bluetooth, but sometimes it comes in handy. Another thing I love about this speaker is it has reverb on board. It has a multi-channel mixer. I like to see speakers go in this direction. All of this with all of the power that this has at your fingertips. It's a perfect buy for someone that wants an all-rounder. There's so much that I'm not gonna mention in this upload, but just keep looking at the screens in this upload and you can see how in depth this speaker will go to maximize your control. These speakers have got the lot. When it comes to the sound of this speaker, this speaker sounds like 
everything. The amount of EQ that you have on board, you can control how this speaker sounds in such a way <laughs> that it sounds like anything. You can get it to sound like a 945. You can get it to sound like a 745. Maybe a HDM, I don't know. But when you use the EQ, you can mess around with the mids. You can mess around with the highs. You can mess around with the low frequency. And you can also dial in the high pass filter. Dial it in to however you want it. From that one screen, this is a speaker you definitely have to demo. I've not had any speaker like this with the kind of control just from that single screen. Wow. This speaker is mad. Listening to this speaker, I would say that if you tried to compare this to a HDM 45A, I would say the HDM 45A, it has higher spec hardware, more power, and although you can do so much with the EQ on the 915AX, how you can change your mids, change your highs, change your lows, change everything how you want it. When it comes to the quality of sound, I think without being able to confirm it, I would say the HDM is the better sounding speaker. But there's a lot of things that this speaker can do that the HDM can't. I mean. If you have a 945A, just one, you can pair it with this and you've got so much control and the power that you'd have in an AX, pairing it with a 945A, perfect. I think the only thing this speaker doesn't have is battery operation. This speaker has really impressed me. I've just got a grin all the time when I explore how much you can do with this speaker Downloading the RCF Live Remote app allows you to control the speaker from a device, maybe a smartphone. It expands more control on this speaker. This is what the display looks like in the daytime. And I can confirm that on a sunny day, which it was earlier on, you can adjust the screen and you can still clearly see everything. Everything is visible. And you have all of this adjustment for the display whenever it's necessary. This could be the only one speaker you will ever need. All I can say is new year, new gear. This year, purchasing these speakers has started on a high. And I think any more gear that I do get, it's going to be a tough act to follow.